it's not a game, it's a rich thing. Hey guys, I'm Hiran and this is Double H. Today we're gonna be reviewing a headset. It's called the Razer Kraken Tournament Edition. Pretty fancy name. So chances are you probably know how important audio is in games. The music, the sound effects that you hear in the game can increase the immersiveness and create a more and better gaming experience. And in case of competitive games, it is very essential in order to find out where the enemy is and to pinpoint his location. So how good is this headset for gaming? Okay, so before we get into the answer of that question, we do need to see the hardware. So here's the unboxing. So guys, this is the retail packaging for the Razer Kraken Tournament Edition. Full disclosure though, I had already unboxed it. I'm just showing you this because I want you guys to know how the package actually arrives. So I kept everything where it was when it came. So this is a Razer Kraken headset. It's got a pretty rigid framework. It's mostly metal and there's very little trace of plastic. Well, there almost isn't any kind of plastic in here. These can be adjusted according to the size of your head. And on the top, we do have the Razer logo. According to me, the color green looks better on Razer products. Like I said, the headphone is mostly metal. As you guys can see, it's mostly rusted. It's been about 4 or 5 months since I bought this headphone. We do have a retractable mic. I am using that mic right now for this video. So comment down below how you like it. Let's set aside this headset and take a look at the other important part of this headphone. It is the Razer USB audio controller. On the right side, you have the option to turn on and off the spatial synapse audio. Also, a rocker to control volume between game and chat. On the other side, we have a rocker for the bass. And on the other side, we have the headphone jack. Both the headset and the audio controller have a really good braided cable. The headphone has a light clamping pressure. Even though the clamping pressure is low, it stays on and the isolation is, it is a passive isolation and it's pretty good. Although something to note is that it is pretty heavy and some people might not like that weight. So the audio controller has a adhesive side on the underside and you can stick it on like that. Next, you connect the USB to your laptop or PC. After connecting the USB audio controller, you have to download the THX Spatial Synapse 3 application which you can download using the link given in the manual of the headset. This application downloads and configures the drivers for your headset. It also gives a lot of customization which also includes an equalizer. You may change it as you please and get it to a level you like. There are many other sound settings that you can play around with, there's a lot of them so I cannot cover that in this video. Okay so now we're done with the unboxing, so let's get back to the review of the headset. Before you buy, you need to know this. The thing is, without the USB audio controller, the audio is almost the same as any other kind of headset like kind of a normal experience i could say well what i'm talking about is if you want to connect this headset to a mobile or without this that is the audio controller it will create a pretty ordinary kind of sound so what i'm basically trying to say is that buy this only if you have a computer because if you have a playstation the audio controller does not work with it and also in case of mobiles or any other devices without a USB, well any other device except a PC, a Mac, etc. You cannot use the audio controller which significantly reduces the audio quality. The thing is, in order to get the highest performance possible from this headset, you need to have the THX Spatial Synapse. It's an application which you can install in your OS. It Almost just all the processing, it, 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 it applies the base, the treble, etc. So without that application, that software, and this audio controller, it's basically like buying a normal cheap headset. Okay, so leave all of that. Let's take into consideration the fact that you have a PC 
and you buy this or at least you want to buy this so would I recommend buying this okay so the important thing is that gaming headphones are not good headphones in general terms because these kind of headphones are made just for gaming purposes so take this headphone for example it has really heavy bass to understand the direction from where the footsteps are coming in games for example that high bass may not seem very good in other scenarios while watching movies or listening to music now don't get me wrong this is a really good headphone for gaming I could definitely say that I won a lot of matches in Fortnite just because of this headphone. Okay, so basically what I'm trying to say is this headphone is a more mid-range gaming headset. If you want a very high quality headphone, it will cost you a fortune. So this headphone is just a gaming headphone and an above average in every other or general aspects. Okay, so let's talk about the quality of these headsets. Putting the headsets on, it's kind of an okay experience, I guess. It's an okay isolation. And when you turn on audio, you almost hear nothing. Like, I've been scolded a few times for not listening to my mom. So according to Razer, these ear cups are kind of special. They are made of something called cooling pads. Well, they claim that it doesn't heat up too much. And I think that is actually true. It, it does heat up, but it doesn't cause sweating. It's pretty hot in here. It can reach up to 35 to 40 degrees in here during summers. I think it has held up really good. And when I turn on the AC, I really don't feel much heat at all the headphones wearing them is pretty comfortable these cushions are big and if you are a gamer like me with glasses they say that it has a soft channel somewhere around here i don't really feel it but when i put it on it does not stress my glasses at all like it does not press onto my face and cause any kind of pressure connecting the headphone like this without the audio controller onto a phone or any other device pretty good audio i guess it's okay like a normal headset but the moment you put this into the audio controller you install the tsx spatial synapse and long my god it's magic like you can really feel a difference between without having that audio controller and having it you know usually how headphones reduce the sound in one side and increases on the other to create an illusion of the object moving the audio moving this is in another level you can pinpoint where the sound is coming from so the thx spatial audio works in a way like it is actually 360 degree audio so you can pinpoint where the sound is coming from pretty precisely you can it's not just like top bottom left right it's like every point in the space i don't think it's perfect yet but still it is really good in games like fortnite like you can really understand where the footsteps are coming from so this is really a very important feature to me in fortnite especially when i'm in buildings i don't know usually where the person is and i have to go in blindly so i usually get killed going in there blind but with this technology i can really understand where he is talking on the build it is mostly steel I don't know if it's steel, it's mostly metal. Whole part is metal. Same here. And there's a metal strip, like this thing goes in. And this is made of cushion, like this is kind of soft. This is also pretty soft, I guess. Like aesthetically, it looks good. And it's pretty heavy for a headphone, I guess. I'm not sure what the standard for today's headphones are. But according to me, it is pretty heavy. Okay, so we do have mic. So I think it's a pretty good mic. I can definitely say that the mic on this headset is better than the mic I have right here. So do I recommend buying this headphone? Yeah, it's about 8,000 to 9,000 rupees in India. And I think it's pretty good value. There's also another headphone that is 
really good value it's called the HyperX Alpha I believe I think more people will be interested in that headphone than this one I haven't used it this headphone isn't bad well I haven't used the other one so I say this is pretty good if you guys like the look of it have watched other reviews and you like this one better I recommend buying this because for me personally it has been a really good headphone and I recommend buying this for sure so that's it for the video guys if you like this video give us a like subscribe if you want more content like this and i'll see you guys in the next video peace